Well, hi there, and welcome to the Shoe Render Drawing Channel. And what has this photograph album got to do with Warhorse? Well, uh, my dad put this album together in the early 1970s, and these are all old family photos that he kind of dug up and worked out who was who. This is <laughs> that is my dad. <laughs> uh, these are my grandparents. Uh, my, that there's their parents, and there's their parents. So these are my grand great 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 grandparents and i don't know how many people have photo albums like that still anyway this is um my grandfather walter and he went uh, off to war in the first world war in the essex yeomanry with his brother vic who um was a bit of a hero he he won the military cross and also was uncle wilf who sadly died and didn't make it home again here's victor again and uh, haven't got a picture of Wilf, I'm afraid, but I have got a picture of Uncle Percy, who was in another regiment. I'm not sure which one. And maybe someone will recognise that cat badge and tell me who, what regiment he was in. And um, now what this is all about is, look, this photograph here. This is, he's not actually in the family, but this is a photo of a soldier from the Essex Yeomanry taken kind of round about the time of the First World War. And this, this is a war horse. So uh, I'm going to use this photograph as the basis um, of the drawing I'm going to show you how to do of a war horse. And uh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Right, well, I want this to have a bit of um, kind of life to it. So I'm going to draw this horse's body as kind of a tube like that. OK, and then the head is coming up like that. So if you kind of imagine this is three-dimensional kind of thing like that, and then the, it's going to be doing something there along those lines. Um, and I, if you kind of imagine the hips are going to be there. Go and look at my other video, which shows you um, how horses legs work. They have a very short kind of thigh and then a long leg. And then this is, so that's actually the, the knee. This is the ankle, and then there's the hoof, which is kind of the, the toes on the end, okay? And again, at the front, we've got a very short kind of, um, this is the shoulder, that's the elbow. Um, and then that's the, this then is the wrist, that's the hands, and then these are the toes on the end. So that kind of gives you kind of a feel for what's going on. There, but go and have a look. I've done a, a video all about drawing horses with the skeleton and everything. If you want to know a bit more like that, okay. Um, so we're going to have saddle kind of around like that. So he's going to be sitting something like that. He's going to be sitting quite up in his sitting up a bit and leaning forward. Uh, coming down here holding on to the reins and he'll have his hat and he'll be shouting and the horse's ears will be back and we'll get a rough idea where this tack fits in um, we want this kind of angle for the horse like that like that and then looking at the the tack that's on the photograph there's a kind of twin reins and then uh, underneath there's this sort of ceremonial cord I don't know whether they'd have gone into battle with that actually but anyway we'll just kind of assume he's got that his body's going to go up like that and kind of curve around and then you get that kind of back leg and then we're going to want another kind of leg there Let's have some battle stuff around. Is that fitting in there? Yeah. Well, I'm doing the small than I have done recently because um, I found it becoming more and more kind of uncomfortable <laughs> with the drawings I've been doing because they haven't been quite my style somehow I, because I've been doing them kind of nor larger than I normally kind of draw um, illustrations. So I'm doing this a bit smaller, so it's kind of more 
going back to more my style and right there's this really kind of weird bit that it has with a bit sticking out which is probably illegal now i should think <laughs> and then then he has two reins connecting like that and there's no main that's all been shaved off to uh, there's this kind of ceremonial halter that kind of comes around like that um the mane's all been shaved off to to keep it things tidy in war no doubt uh, i don't know what happens in happens in the film i haven't seen the film yet um because that comes out on monday and i'm doing this on sunday evening um, so I hope I'm, I'm not going to see it this week. I hope if, I, I don't know if it depends if it's on locally. I think really my local cinema. All right, we got a stirrup there, and he's wearing boots with kind of spur that I can see in the drawing of him, and a saddle, and he's holding on to the reins like that he's got a thing over his shoulder now, Essex Yeomanry what's interesting my grandfather actually he was who was in the Essex Yeomanry then during the war some of them went over to start up what became the uh, Royal Signals and so my grandfather was one of the very first members of the Royal Signals and after the war, the Royal Signals, who were responsible for, you know, messages and telephones and all that sort of thing in the war, um, a lot of them then went over to start the General Post Office, who were then responsible for setting up the telephone system in Britain, which all came out of the First World War. And, uh, and my grandfather went... There's this little thing like that and a water watering can. So my grandfather uh, actually kind of started out as a civilian after the war um, in the general post office with well, telephones. And um, and then my father went, eventually he ended up in the Royal Signals as well. And, um, and my brother... <laughs> And he joined the army when he was 18 or something. He went into the Royal Signals. So um, he'll be going off like that. So Royal Signals is kind of in our family. And and I think te technical stuff. I think we've all kind of liked technical things. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, put some barbed wire in there like that. In the background. Just to give it that kind of wartime feel. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it's completely dry before I erase it. And erase all those pencil lines. And then we need some more tack going up there, don't we? I think probably something going around there. And you want some shading in like that. Certainly want some shading down there. Some shading around there. His boots will be quite shiny, so we'll put a bit of shading in there. And a bit of shading there in his uniform. And there we go. So I think I'll put a bit of shading around on there as well. There you go. How to draw. It's not the war horse, but it's a war horse, isn't it? And uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this is because uh, also for the rest of this month, I'm going to be uh, War Horse is written by Michael Morpurgo, uh, who I've illustrated a few books with. And so this month I'm going to be doing quite a few illustrations from Michael Morpurgo books I illustrated. So keep coming back for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Well, I hope you liked that. And if you did, keep coming back to the Shoe Renner Drawing channel on YouTube. And uh, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.